What's up guys? I wanted to show you something that uh, you may not be aware of on an ABB 550. Now this is the ACS series drive. Uh, typically uh, if you replace one of these depending on your wiring configuration and that sort of thing uh, there may be some additional parameters that you need to change. One of the things that we have with this one everything is wired in through the digital input number one on the panel. Now one thing that you may not be aware of is currently if I switch the drive to local control I do have the ability to start it even though my relay is off I do have the ability to enable the drive and start it. Now if you want to make sure that all of your safeties are made which is something that you definitely need to do there is a parameter in here that you can change to make sure that that happens so what I'm going to do here of course anytime you are going to make a change on the drive you have to be in stop mode okay you can't have the drive running so I'm going to go into my menu I'm going to go into parameters this is of course it's already highlighted for me the group that I need to go down to is 16 group number 16 system control okay i'm going to hit select it's going to bring me into this section here and you can see 1601 currently says run enabled and it is not selected i'm going to select edit i'm going to scroll up to di1 that is the terminal that we have our enable relay already wired to okay so when i do this and I press save you can see here that it has now selected that I'm going to press my exit button back all the way out and again I'm going to press my start button and when I press my start button this time you can see the drive is not going to enable okay in order to get this drive to enable I must then close the contacts on the rib relay and then I will be able to run the drive. But this is the main thing that I wanted to do, so that's literally all that I'm going to do to this drive. Of course, now I'm going to switch it back into auto remote or to remote control to where I can control it from the relay. And we are going to put this drive back in service. Anyways, guys, that's just a quick tip that I wanted to make you aware of. Again, if that is not set for DI1 or whatever input that you're using, depending on your wiring configuration, make sure that that is set or your drive will still enable when you don't want it to. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions down below, and we'll see you next time.